this afternoon. I picked up these rotor housings here and these rotors here, and they go for that engine there. Um, I've already started working on this engine, but just had to make time to go get some more parts for it and check it all over. Um, this is a budget build, so it's been ported to a half bridge port. It's it's not built for power, it's just purely for cruising and just the noise, really. Um, we're also going to put a front cover, old school front cover on this engine also, and run a distributor with this also. Um, so today I'll be just going over these housings, checking those over, and hopefully getting these painted. Yes, yeah, so I've been tinkering away at this engine for a little while now. Um, all the points have been done, the exhaust ports are done. These have all been extended up. Cut the bridge into there. Um, this is a secondary bridge port. So, center iron doesn't have a, a bridge port at all. But this has all been extended up. Same story, exhaust ports are done. And then, then we've got the port on the rear iron. Um, so I've got this e-shaft here that I need to check. And as I was saying, these housings and these rotors um i'll actually go through clean all this up and go from there so these are the housing cities had set aside for this engine and they're not looking too good got quite a lot of um grooves up in here big chunk of chrome pill there um yeah as you can see there's it's scuffed there's marks everywhere and on this one here same story, quite a bad chrome pool over there as well. So I have reached out to Jeff and when we took that engine out of that RX-8 in the gas station, it actually came with a four port engine in pieces. So I've asked him to have a look at those housings and I might try and acquire them from him um, to swap these ones out. But these ones are ornamental now. Um, yep, yeah, okay, I'll go through and clean those up. For some reason I'm really procrastinating on washing these, but I'll get to it. On a side note, uh, the owner of this engine also does um, Hot Wheels cars, custom made ones. He's done a couple for me, like this one here. We haven't got a case of this one, but this is um, like my RX, first RX one I had back in 1995, like with mini lights on it. Um, that car got stolen, so that's a that's a bit of a bummer, but having that's pretty cool. And then he also did this one for me, for my RX-7 I have now. Even has the IDA coming through the bonnet and some modgies on it. So if you're ever thinking of getting one done or trying to find someone, that's his logo right there. Look him up. Awesome. stuff came out of them but they're good to go for now uh, moving on to these rotors uh, they could do another clean but they're good enough for what I'm going to be doing tonight um, and before I forget these here they get the big cross no good I'm going over these rotors now I actually didn't realize one of the oil control rings was still in there and we've been battling at this for a while to try and get it out. There it is, no spring left in it. And she is tight, man. Um, oh, there we go, she's coming. Oh, wow. It doesn't feel very nice. Ah, oh, yes, it's, it's all carboned up. Uh, spring itself is junk. Just drop everything on the floor. Yeah, nah, rubbish. 
So while I'm doing these, is I'm just going to clean up these corner seals. Uh, corner seals, holes, whatever you want to call it. And I've just got one here just to make sure that it goes in there and it moves nicely. Do is I might actually find a corner saw that is good, but for now we'll just try an old jumped apex seal. Yeah, she's pretty tight. I think pinch down on the ends. It's not too bad, it's not too good either, but might still be full of junk, but this one here is questionable. It's pretty smooth there, and then it just binds up at the end. I can actually see it. It's kicked a little bit. All right, I'll go find that corner seal. And... Okay, I got some corner seals and some springs in there out of another engine, and they're tight, tight to get in. Like this one here, it's got a little bit of spring on it. This one here is a bit of a pain to get in. Nothing. It's wedged in there. So I don't know. If you can get these looked at and clearanced and whatnot for the seals but um yeah it's not it's not fantastic i don't know if you can see that there but it's, something's happened on this corner up here so um yeah i might have to look into that so for now this first rotor is also getting a bit of a Cross. Um, I will look in to see if it can be repaired, but I've never heard of it. I've heard of just people just getting new ones. I'll uh, we'll have a quick squiz over this one, and I'll let you know how that one gets up. Goes on. Okay, finished going over this one, and this one gets up. It's all good. Everything is a little bit tight on it, but it's still clearance. You know, still quite a bit of clearance on them. They will go in. Um, getting the oil control ring out though, that was a different story. She was in there good and proper. But um, no, visually this one's all right. Everything's pretty nice. There's no no marks on it like that one there. It obviously has a little bit of a dink on it. Um, so I'll see what I can do with that one. But yeah, not too bad. Okay, that all said and done, I'll start masking these up now and I'll get some paint on them. I was going to check this tonight, but it's getting a bit late, so I'll get these underway and I'll do that another time. All right, iron's all masked, all painted. They've come up quite good. I'll give them, to, I'll give them the night to dry and then I'll peel all this off. Then it will just be moving on to sourcing out new rotor housings, possibly a new rotor and sourcing out all the parts to assemble this engine uh once again as i said i need i need a front cover for this i believe mike is knows of one and he's going to sort that out and then i've got to build a sump again for this engine as well as that blue engine for the bmw which is going to be a real pain in the ass uh, i've um, painted these red just like that um red rx8 that we're working on last couple of months um that is still in the work so i'll let you know what's going on with that now yep so that um 
Red RX8 that we were working on. Um, went across to get tuned with the Dino Boys and they tried their best. They just dumped heaps of fuel in there and it still wouldn't start off key. So we decided to compression test it. Um, where the car is, it's about an hour and a half away from here. So I drove over there a couple of weeks ago actually and we compression tested it. Front rotor was pretty good. Back one wasn't that great. Um, seems to be we've got a stuck seal. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to yank the engine this weekend coming at Gaz's house. So he's been a real good good dude about it and he said I can do it there. So I'm going to rip the engine and we're going to pull the rear iron off and pull the rear rotor out and check it over. Replace what, replace any parts that need to be replaced and put it back in. Um, I should have compression tested it when it was here, but I just thought it was solely down to a tune. Um, I won't do that again, that's for sure. But um, yeah, it, it's a real pain. This car just keeps on giving, um, but we're getting closer and closer. So if all works, the boys should be able to tune it in the next couple of weeks and it'll be good to go, it'll be done. Um, and then I can sort out these other engines and hopefully get stuck into this one. But um, yeah, I'll let you know that I've been recording the video same time about it. So after this weekend, I'll probably post that up so everyone can see. Anyway, cheers.